I never see another birthday. It's over with, Joe. If you if, if you love me, nigga, say that shit on, but this gonna be the last time they never say it. If you love me, nigga, you really love me, nigga, call my phone, cause you, you, this gonna be the last time you ever say it, Joe. I just fucked up. I just fucked up. It ain't nothing I can do about it. it ain't nothing I can do about it. I just fucked up, bro. I love that woman dearly, bro. I love her dearly, bro. I love that lady dearly, bro. On my soul, bro. On my soul, yo. Like, I'm hurt. I'm hurt like a motherfucker. I'm hurt like a motherfucker, yo. Because I can't even believe I just did. And I don't even know what just pushed me to snap like that, yo. I don't even know what just pushed me to snap like that, yo. That shit just, I just lost it. I just lost it, bro. It's over with. It's over with, yeah. All that. Man, look. Ain't no motherfucker. My ain't gonna see me no more, G. I ain't running. I've been on a run over a year and a half. I'm not running from these people no more, bro. They come get me, bro. They come get me, bro. They come get me. That's all I'm gonna say. They come get me, Joe. I believe he was trying to kill me and leave no witnesses. This is the story of Lasagna AG, a woman who experienced a nightmare ordeal one fateful day in Chicago. In a chilling incident, her ex-boyfriend and father of her child launched a violent attack, shooting Lasagna 11 times in front of their son and shooting her grandmother and uncle 8 times, leaving everyone fighting for their lives. This shocking event was the result of years of abuse that Lasagna endured in her relationship. But this is not just a story of tragedy, it's a story of resilience, courage, and Lasagna's inner strength and bravery to escape an abusive relationship, as well as her desire to share her story in order to prevent violence like this from happening to other women. Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Chicago, Illinois. 24-year-old Lasagna, a resident of Chicago, was in a relationship with 27-year-old Larry Sistrunk, the relationship between the two was fine at first, but shortly after Lasagna gave birth to her son in 2017, the abuse started. What began as a small dispute gradually escalated over time, transforming into a series of escalating conflicts and physical violence. The abuse reached an alarming and unbearable level, with Lasagna contemplating fatally harming herself. Lasagna lost her mother at a young age and did not have a lot of family, therefore she did not have a strong support in her life. Larry came along and exploited her vulnerable circumstances to gain control over her life. Recognizing the abusive nature of her relationship, Lasagna summoned her inner strength and resilience, determined to break free and create a safe environment for her son. In a bold move, she quietly secured her own apartment without informing her abuser. However, he eventually discovered her new residence, violating the restraining order by forcefully entering her home and even resisting arrest when law enforcement intervened. The following day, upon returning home, Lasagna was confronted with a chilling sight, an armed figure emerging from her utility closet, it was her ex-boyfriend. Fueled by anger and resentment over her independent decision to sign the lease without his involvement, he unleashed a wave of destruction, shattering every window in the apartment. Lasagna's landlord asked her to leave without offering to relocate her to another unit, out of fear that this would happen again. Due to her living situation, Lasagna AG found herself convinced by her abuser to return, facing threats and force. The abuse she endured only intensified, marked by recurring black eyes and multiple instances where she sought help from the police, filing reports that seemed to have no effect on her tormentor. His relentless intimidation extended not only to her but also to her family and friends. Overwhelmed by fear for her loved ones' safety, Lasagna reluctantly decided it was more convenient to comply with her abuser's demands. She diligently saved her money and managed to purchase a car, but within a month, he deliberately crashed it into a garage, leaving her without reliable transportation. The toll of her situation began to seep into her professional life, leading to frequent absences from her job as a mail carrier at the United States Postal Service. Eventually, she had no choice but to disclose her predicament to her employer, who provided some support by arranging for co-workers to accompany her to her car, after witnessing her ex circling the job site. Having worked at the post office for over a year and recently becoming a full-time regular employee, Lasagna was informed that the organization would assist in relocating her. Determined to rebuild her life, she purchased another car, doing her best to keep its details hidden from her abuser. However, he saw a picture of her new car after going through her phone, sparking yet another violent altercation. A few days later, he purposely rammed her brand new car into a pole, shattering all the windows and chasing her with a bat. 
Disturbingly, he even took their child and concealed himself from the authorities, withholding the child until Lasagna agreed to continue a relationship with him. Despite filing a police report, Lasagna received little assistance, as authorities deemed it a custody matter that required legal intervention. In their eyes, the fact that he was the child's father complicated the situation, leaving Lasagna with the daunting task of pursuing court proceedings and filing yet another restraining order. Nonetheless, she persisted in going to work, determined to earn money to repair her car and secure a new apartment, steadfast in her pursuit of a better future. One day, when she was at work, her boss called her into the office and told her that she was fired. It turned out that a man had falsely accused her of stealing mail, claiming he found mail from her route mixed with her son's birth certificate in his trash. Even though the accusation wasn't true, it crushed her spirit. But Lasagna didn't give up. She got her car fixed and kept looking for a new apartment for herself and her son. Then, on February 21, Lasagna's world would be forever changed, the events of that day would be caught on camera. After waiting for Lasagna to come home, her ex Larry pulled up next to her and begged her to go with him. By this point, she was tired and had enough, so she refused. That's when he shot her, her uncle, and her grandmother. Then he turned his rage to Lasagna's vehicle and shot at the car with her son inside, firing every bullet he had inside the gun. It was a horrific and life-shattering event that changed everything for Lasagna and her family. After shooting Lasagna, Larry went live on Facebook in a series of rants. Everything away, ain't no coming back from this shit, bro. Ain't no coming back from this shit. Bro. I ain't, ain't no point in me. Ain't no point in me going again. No, if any motherfucker got a problem with me, let that shit be known right now. Let that shit be known right now. Any motherfucker got a problem with me, let it be known. Get all this secret ass fake blood on you. Any motherfucker, bro. Any motherfucker talking about it now, but I ain't think about it. But motherfucker don't know what a nigga thinking about on a daily basis. Well, you gotta sit there and you gotta think about this shit before you get to the motherfucker. About the real thought that you need to have in your head, you going through so much out of board, man. On my soul, bro. On my soul, yo. Like I'm hurt. I'm hurt like a mother. I'm hurt like a mother. Cause I can't even believe I just did, and I don't even know what just pushed me to snap like that, yo. I don't even know what just pushed me to snap like that. Dude. That's. Man, I just lost it. I just lost it, bro. It's over with. It's over with. Yeah, all that, man. Look, ain't no mother. See me no more, I ain't running. I've been on a run over a year and a half. I'm not running from these people no more, bro. They come get me, bro. They come get me, bro. They come get me. That's all I'm gonna say. They come get me, Joe. My soul, and they, they better come. They better come ready to kill. They better come ready to kill. My soul. Any more right now? The time is to get it right now, bro. I'm put up on any more on my kids, bro. It's over with for me, bro. I love y'all, Joe. I love all y'all, bro. I love every mother. And the motherfuckers know me, they know me, Joe. Y'all know me personally, bro. Y'all know me personally. Bogus for hopping on this. It's, it's, you feel me? When you know it's over with, you know it's over with. And I've been saying, I've been saying this. I just talked to my brother yesterday, bro, and I just realized it took it off. So, so like, bro, I don't even know why. You feel me, Joe? I don't even know what the fuck I'm thinking, bro. So I love though. I love y'all, Joe. On my soul, they gonna assassinate my character when I'm gone. They gonna assassinate me. <coughs> it's over with. It's over with for me, short. It's over with. My soul is my last water. It's over with, short. It's over with, man. I just. Hey, 27 yesterday. You know what the fuck I been through to get here, bro? You know what I been through to get here, bro? And the slightest, the, the slightest thing, bro. I just threw everything away, bro. Like, I just fed up, bro. I just fed up, bro. I just fed up. And then I didn't judge. They finna judge me. I love that motherfucker, bro. That that's the fed up part about it, bro. I love that woman dearly, bro. I love her dearly, bro. I love that lady dearly, bro. I'm gonna stay strong, G. I'm over with KT. It's over for me, KT. It was, it was, I, I hope you enjoy knowing me, shorty. It's over with. It's over with, bro. Lasagna, along with her grandmother and uncle, were all three immediately rushed to University of Chicago Medical Center in critical condition. Miraculously, everyone survived.
To attend the chilling story of what's happened to another Chicago mother. She was shot 11 times in a cold blooded shooting. She is thankful to be alive and tonight demands some answers. NBC 5's Regina Waldrop live with her story tonight. Regina. Well, Stefan, what an amazing story of survival. This young woman says three people, three people identified the shooter as her ex-boyfriend, also the father of her young son, to police. But tonight, no community alert, no charges. The only thing police telling us, this case still being investigated. Lasonia AG stronger than she ever imagined. I just thank God I'm here. Still here after getting shot 11 times, she says, by an abusive ex-boyfriend. He only hit me 11 times. That's how many times he hit me. That's the, this doesn't count the bullet holes on my car. While she doesn't want you to see her face as she recovers in the hospital. He mostly hit my pelvis and my right leg. She wants you to hear her story. I believe he was trying to kill me and leave no witnesses. The February 21st shooting in the 7800 block of South Muskegon captured on surveillance video. It happened as LaSonia was getting out of a car. We were talking for a minute. He was trying to make me get in the car with him. And I'm like, no. He then said, OK, OK. And he pulled up and he pulled back and started shooting. LaSonia's grandmother, her uncle, also shot and recovering. Her three-year-old son, who was with her, was not injured. He was trying to help me. He said, come on, mama, come on. LaSonia says her ex is armed, dangerous, and still on the run. I feel like if I was to leave right now, and maybe he'll finish me off. She wants her story to be a lesson to others. It's not worth it. You see me, I got shot 11 times by someone I, I loved and someone I shared a child with. Lasagna, who had been shot 11 times, would recover from her injuries, as well as her grandmother and uncle, who were shot eight times. Thankfully, her son was not injured in the attack. But the trauma was not over for Lasagna. As she laid in the hospital bed trying to recover, she was overwhelmed with fear, knowing that the man who had just tried to kill her was still roaming the streets. She tried to get her story out there to raise awareness about domestic violence, because often people say this could never happen to them, and she wanted people to know that it could. She also hoped to reach those who are currently trapped in a domestic violence situation, giving them the courage to break free, and urging them to leave as soon as possible, if they ever find themselves in a similar situation. She would go on to say, if you are going through anything similar leave, as soon as possible. His behavior isn't normal, cute, or funny. Don't ever think he won't because it's a men out here that will. Everybody may not be as blessed to have a second chance and tell their story. I'm so grateful that I am still here to tell mine, and hopefully my situation will help another. Everyone always assume leaving is easy, but leaving nearly costed me my life. Authorities later located Larry in Louisiana. He was arrested and extradited back to Chicago. He was charged with three counts of attempted murder and three counts of aggravated battery. Lasagna AG's survival against all odds shows how strong and resilient she is. Her terrifying experience brings attention to the widespread problem of domestic violence, which affects many people. It's important to understand why individuals often stay in abusive relationships, as it's not easy to break free due to fear, manipulation, and lack of support. Lasagna's story reminds us that escaping an abusive relationship is a difficult task. Despite the abuse, she bravely looked for ways to protect herself and her son, always striving for a better life. The challenges she faced, including legal obstacles and betrayal by trusted people, only made her more determined. Her bravery can inspire others trapped in similar situations to find the strength to break free and seek a better future. We're glad that Lasagna survived, but we must remember that there are many others suffering in silence. If you or someone you know is experiencing domestic violence, you can call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-SAFE. Remember that help is available, and you don't have to go through this journey alone. There are organizations, hotlines, and support networks ready to assist you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.